Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, we're joined by Mastro and Deco of CEDH Brazil. We got a quick one today. We're all playing our personal decks. First up, I'm on Ikra Krom, Green Grixis, a.k.a. Kropnaz, a.k.a. Ikrom. Cameron's on Thrasios Krom Advantage Evolution. Deco's on Silas Ren, Rograk, Turbo Naz. And Mastro is on Jessica Timna Mad Farm. Begin! Draw a card. Arid Mesa, pitch Simeon Spirit Guide for a red mana, cast a Soul Ring, Grim Monolith. Fetch this Arid Mesa right now. I'm gonna get a Badlands, and then I'm gonna pass my turn. Draw for turn. Good Taxi and Probe for two life, targeting a Maestro. All right, that's, that's good to know. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. Wooded Foothills, and I will go down to 37. Tropical Island, Utopia Sprawl, naming green. That'll be it. Troll, Training Center, Rograk, Mox Center, I'll pass. Troll, the Commander Tower, play Spectre Spectre, pass. Your end step, I'll oh, cast Vampiric Tutor, 37. I'm gonna put that card on top of my library. Go to my turn, untap. Draw a card, play a City of Brass. I'll take one damage, go to 36, cast Chrom. Deco, I'm gonna come at you with the Chrom. I'm going to 36. And that's it, then I'll pass. Draw for my turn. Green, green, cast a Carpet of Flowers, and... Boreal Druid. Crom Trigger. I will pass the turn then. Draw card, no lands, and pass. Okay. Draw, doing a seat of rest, waiting for turn. Check this for the red. Cast Timina. 39. Pass the turn. Draw card. Cast Jeweled Lotus. Play a Verdant Catacombs. Crack the Lotus for a three green with one floating. Cast Ikra Shadiki. I think, Mastro, I'm going to come at you now with a Crom. Going down to 35. Ikra trigger, gain four, go up to 40. Pass turn. I'll draw. I should untap too. Maybe that'll give me an advantage. Cast Thrasios. Play a land as well. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Land. My lighting's so bad right now. I'll try, <laughs> I'll try to fix this. Pass the turn. Untap up to draw. <laughs> Deco is not at you. 34. Gaining two light. Tuna trigger on my face two, losing one. 36, I'm drawing a card. Just plus will. Losing one life wing down to 35. Five. Uh, five. five. Can five red mana and play the top three of my deck. That's a Nick Potence. Ouch. Green Abolisher. Ouch. Uh, Joel Lotus. That's not bad at all. Just really bad. Get my Lotus. Crown Trigger. Cast Jessica. Two nice. counters. Two and Crown. Two and Thrasios. And then Rograk. Oh, Floater. Okay. I'll sack my Lotus for three red. Spend the last two red to cast Jessica again. And then blow up Crown. And kill the door. That sucks. Well, it's plays like this out of Jessica that make me wonder if Jessica would be good in like a more controlling Staxi build. Do you know what I mean? Like its ability to completely control the table and kill multiple creatures at once. Like that Jessica just killed four creatures. Four for one out of your command zone is pretty good. You know what I mean? But Jessica always sees play in like the Turbo Ad Nauseam decks because it's an outlet, which is good. I think that's fair. But I just wonder if there's some world where Jessica could be played in more of a Stax shell that's looking to just completely destroy the board with Jessica and with its other commander, look to either draw cards or do something else. And know. then maybe even in the late game, you can still win with like an infinite mana outlet and Jessica still. Right. So really, Jessica's just a bunch of different tools in one easy commander. I don't think we've scratched the surface yet on what Jessica is really capable of. Untap. Draw a card. Master, I'm going to come at you with 3-7. Okay. Bring down to 32. I'll gain 7 off of Ikra. Go up to 47. That'll be it. I'll pass my turn. Crack at the end of your turn. Go down to 36. Tapped blue red land. Then we'll go to my turn. I'll draw for turn. Play an exotic orchard. Cast the training grounds. Pass the turn. Draw. Pass the turn. It's all right, Master, before you go, I'm going to crack in your end step, Deco. Is that all right? Okay. I'll go to 46. And an underground C here, and then, yeah, keep going. Turn a card. Scouting turn for turn. Like the first ability of Jessica targeting Tuna. Triple damage, baby. Deal him. Yep, go to 40. 38. Okay, Tuna trigger. I will lose one life. Going to 37. And turn your card. Flash is it. Going down to 36. Badlands. Lose one more life. Casting a constant trigger. Okay, go on. I'll fire off and add nauseam in your end step. Take one to do it to 39 off of the city brass. Fluster storm. Oh shit. <laughs> Untap, draw card. Cast talisman of dominance. Master, I'm gonna come at you for three. Okay. I'll gain seven, go up to 46. Pass turn. The draw. Carpet of flowers targets Dylan. Blue mana. Float blue and a green. I also want to use make another green. And I'm gonna cast a snap. I'll target Tim though. Oh, I will show you. You may want to go for it, Ikra. 
I'm gonna cast Veil of Summer. I'll lose a life off City Breast. All right, so that means that Snap fizzles. The veil resolves and I draw a card. I'm gonna use these for a Sylvan Library now. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Things are looking good. I will do a lightning to turn. Probably just a mana grip draw. Casting mana grip. Zero and Jessica targeting Timna. If Deco this time for six. 28. Skin is sticking to 38 again. 37, drawing your card. Win for 10. Floating, follow its mana here. Target Deco with this crater. Kim, how many cards are in your hand? I only have two. Deco, how many in yours? I have seven. I'm going to pass on Praetor's Grasp. I think that's okay. I think I will get your Ednos. We'll get this unicorn here to represent it. Okay, that's a turn. In your end step, cast a Mystical Tutor. I will get a Jessica's Will. Jessica's Will on top of my library. Cast Brain Freeze. One target is Dylan, and two targets, it's on me. Cast a. Force of Negation, pitching Gitaxian Pro on the one copy that's at me. Exile, Human Spirit Guide, and Red Elemental Blasted. Nuts. Okay, sure. Just because we'll peer into the abyss, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, jeez, Dylan. That's like the unluckiest mill you could have gotten. Marvel, Yagwheel, Diabolic Intent, Mana Ball, Badlands, and Repeal. Okay, I have one card left. Go to my turn. Untap. Draw a card. Cast a Mox Opal. 154, 567. To lose a life off of City Breast to 44. Cast Chrom for the second time. Go to combat. Master, I'm going to come at you with this Chrom. Jessica with Ikra. And I'll gain four off of the Ikra trigger off of Chrom. I got one card left in my hand. I'm going to pass my turn. I get a Sylvan Library trigger here. So I'll take a look at the top three. And I'm going to put them all in my hand. 28. Carpet of Flowers. Dylan, you still have one island? A red mana. Imperial Recruiter. Here comes the Dark Side. We'll cast the Dark Side. Seven total. Use two to mutate Lord Dracus onto Dark Side Extortionist. You have a snap in your graveyard, don't you? I do have a snap in my graveyard. I wonder if you set that up on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Crom trigger. I braid it. Damn, that's a shame. I can't do anything about an abrade here. Yeah, braid is better than it looks every time. Good way to put it. it looks <laughs> always better than it looks every single time. Either mode is super overcosted. Two mana to destroy an artifact or three damage to a creature suck. Either way, but being able to do either one is really good. Dockside dies, Lord Dracus comes down as just the Lord Dracus. Mox Amber, two treasures, Kinnon, blue, blue, green, green, and cast Thrasios. Ends my turn then. That's all I can do. I like how I go, that's all I can do here. <laughs> yeah. Like it still ended up, I was still in like a pretty decent spot. I mean, I don't have a ton of treasures anymore, but I got Kinnon. Yeah, these evolution decks are always just full of gas. There's just no matter what, there's just always stuff. You can commit more and more mana to the board no matter what, and Thrasios uses all the mana so good and kin unless you use the mana even better and training grounds and all these synergistic pieces come together in these evolution decks you can just do so much untap draw i'm gonna go with dark red raw red Chrome trigger as i have trigger into the abyss myself i'm gonna activate thrasios bottom card reveal spell seeker last thrasios activation if it's a force of will i'm gonna be so mad it's a dispel i think 18 that leaves me with 82 cards in my deck no 19 20. i'll, I'll draw 40. i'm going to 14 right now 40. lion's eye diamond lotus petal Mox Diamond, Misty Rainforest, Forbidden Archer for turn, Red of Flame, Make to Red, Gamble. Oh, here it is. Is this the card that I reveal? Tassa's Oracle. Cast on the Road Bridge, giving Dylan a token. I can crack LED, discard my whole hand, make three blue, brain freeze, Lion's Eye Diamond again, and I can. Pulls a loop here. I'm good. We're dead? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of casting the Ad Nauseam on turn two, and I definitely probably should have. I figured that maybe Krom on turn two and Ad Nauseam later would help me like back up the Ad Nauseam, but maybe I should have just gone for it. Deco missed his third land drop for the entirety of that game and still managed to win off of the power of Peer into the Abyss. Good shit. Just goes to show you that when someone tries to win and they get stopped and then you try to go off, the you best win. way to win punch second right? always want to be the second thank you so much for watching as i'm sure you're probably aware texas is going through a hard time right now because of the storm and the weather a lot of people are left without some basic resources that they need i'll leave some links down below to some organizations that are helping people from texas out if you donate five dollars or more to any one of those organizations and email us the receipt at play to win mtg.com along with your shipping address we'll mail you out a pack of the treasure tokens we have about 50 packs of those left so once we run out of those we'll go through our bird spirit and vampire tokens and send those 
comes out also. Thanks so much for helping. If you want to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon. Look at our bonfire store for all of our awesome t-shirts and sweatshirts. If you want to pick up any of the cards you saw today, we have a TCG Player affiliate link down below. Or if you want to pick up some altar sleeves to help you customize your deck like the Soul Ring I played today, you can do that on our altar sleeves affiliate below as well. If you want to check out our podcast, you can do so on Spotify and iTunes or watch it right here on YouTube. And of course, everything we mentioned today can be found on PlayToWinMTG.com as well as our playmats, which are back in stock now too. Also, Marchesa 2021. February 27th, 11 a.m. EST. It's a CDH tournament going for charity. Cameron and I are going to be doing commentary for the event. Check it out. Come support gamers helping gamers. Free to enter if you want or if you just want to look at us. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Is that things? Is that enough things? That was a bunch of things. It's so funny. I, I like... I, if a professional were to see the way they do, they, we do things, they would be like mortified. Like I don't listen to the audio at all. I just look at it. Like it's like it's just me. Like I'm using a, I'm using a phone and I'm only lighting myself and not you. Like it's we're completely different lighting. You're getting like warm lights from that. I'm getting cool lights from this. Like a professional would go like. No.